Music CDs, DVDs, computer CD-ROMs, and other laser-red discs are constructed in a similar process. Only the top few layers will vary in recordable discs, but essentially this illustration will cover 95% of all the discs in the market. Each compact disc starts out as a clear polycarbonate mold. The information is stamped or molded into the top side of the disc in the form of pits, and between each pit is called a land. This is the digital information. Each pit or land represents either a 1 or a 0, therefore the term digital. The next process in manufacturing is called wet silvering. In this step, a thin reflective foil layer is sprayed onto the disc. This layer can be made of gold, platinum, or aluminum, which is the most popular. This is what will give the disc its silver or gold appearance. On top of this layer, they spray a thin lacquer coating. This is to prevent oxidation of the reflective layer. On top of this layer is the screen printed artwork. Some paint jobs can be very thick, offering some protection, or very thin, offering little or no protection at all. Therefore, laying your disc onto the label side of the CD is the worst thing you can do. If you were to scratch off the reflective foil layer, the laser will penetrate the entire disc and never get back to the player again. You can protect this side by placing an Azura Disc scratch guard, which is placed onto the label side of the disc, acting as a bumper to prevent any damage from scuffing off any of the reflective foil. The information is read by sending a laser beam through the thick, clear plastic layer. It then hits the information, bounces off the reflective foil, and back to the player again. A skip or jump is caused when the laser beam's path is blocked. This can be in the form of a fingerprint, or most commonly from a surface scratch, which can cause the laser beam to refract. Therefore, the information is unable to be retrieved. We repair the disc by grinding down and polishing out the scratch. We remove a very thin layer from the disc, and since the information is on the other side, we never come close to the stored data. Each disc can be refaced 50 to 100 times, just depending on the depth of the scratch. If the CD is scratched deeper, it will get fewer repairs out of it.